It has been a long time since I've created the world's greatest video, but today you guys are in luck because we are playing a brand new game called Eco, and I plan to make the world's greatest video. So if you look around in this game, you might think this game looks a lot like Minecraft, but here's the thing. This game is incredibly different than Minecraft because basically what's happening is there is a giant asteroid coming or a giant meteor coming to destroy this entire planet. And our job is to escape this planet before, oh my gosh, a turtle, before that happens. But here's the cool thing. This game brings in almost anything you can think of about ecology and makes it incredibly realistic. As an environmental engineer, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you release greenhouse gases, the sea levels are going to rise. If you, chop a if you chop a tree down and it falls on plants, those plants are going to die. And I'm reading off of a review right now. If you harvest too much food from an elk, for example, the elk population will actually go down and they could possibly go extinct. If you kill too many predators, the elk population gets out of control. And of course, pollution. Pollution is a big factor in this game. So I'm an environmental engineer. That is like my biggest passion is cleaning the environment. So playing in a world where the stuff you do actually actually matters is absolutely mind-blowing but one thing this game wants me to do when we first start out here is actually build a log cabin i've been going through doing the tutorial here and there and uh, got to a point where i feel like i understand the game a little bit at least i know the controls so i'm not going to look like a headless duck walking around i don't think that's actually a thing people say but uh we're going to go with it anyway um but this is like a crafting table workbench you guys have seen this in pretty much every game you've ever played so you can go here bring your stuff in you order it up and then uh, some invisible dude will cook, hook you up with some good stuff and you'll just come back for it later um so it's it's beautiful looking honestly this game is one of the prettiest looking games i've ever seen in my life and uh the way you stack things like it's just phenomenal the way it works I think that's just one of the most satisfying things. You pick it up, you put it down, you stack it up. It's just, it's simple, but it's done very well. And so I'm really excited about this game, really excited about the future of it um, to see what kind of things it can add. But more importantly, as an environmental engineer, your boy's excited to play a game where I can actually teach you guys and talk about stuff that I go over in class virtually every single day from pollution issues, to global warming, to all that stuff in a sick looking game. I'm not really sure what's going on with floating logs there, but that's it's a minor thing. It's a minor thing. We'll ignore it. Oh, I know why. It's because those are different types of logs. Those are our special logs. These are our weak logs. Gotta stack the weak logs here. And uh, to be honest with you, I've, I've never seen nighttime in this game, so I don't know if there's like zombies or anything. I don't know if it's gonna get spooky. All right, uh, those are almost done. So we'll collect these logs and I need to build a log house. So got all those bad boys. And it says to build a log house, collect a stone hammer. Oh, select the stone hammer. I haven't done that yet. Uh, did I just make all this for nothing? I'm gonna stack them. Oh, the stone hammer is this thing, this thing, the zero key. Select the form you want to build the logs in by selecting it on the toolbar. All right, so I've got my hewn logs or whatever they're called, hewn logs. I don't even know if that's a word. And it says, once you have them in your inventory, you can shift scroll. It'll change how you're building it. I'm not really sure that I see anything going on right now in my toolbar. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. You shift scroll and then it rotates through the items once you have the logs out. So these are my special logs. So now I can build it. So this looks like some kind of foundation. So... I guess we'll just place a couple foundations here. Make it a nice, you know, I feel like five wide is a good one to go by. That's definitely not enough stuff there. Uh, we'll have to get a couple more of these bad boys. Fortunately for me, I made a crap ton. All right, so I'm yet to see this meteor that's come to destroy us. Uh, it does seem pretty peaceful here. So if I had to assume anything, I'd be like, yo, I'm living on a tropical island. I'm not about to get murdered by a meteor. So I'm just going to chill out and relax. But it feels like, you know, with that meteor warning, I feel like it's definitely coming soon. But uh, I need to get a little bit of stone because once we take it back, you can use the stone to build a campfire with. And I'm hoping, honestly, more for your viewing pleasure, that you'll be able to actually see what's going on if I can build a campfire. Because, at least to me, with my giant light blinding me behind the screen, it's incredibly dark. Um, so, I think that'll give me everything I need for that. Alright, so I just went out and collected all the stone we needed. So, this will give us our campfire, which should be pretty sweet. I'm assuming this is going to really make it a lot easier to see. So, collect that bad boy. No idea where it actually went. Maybe my eye's inventory or something. There it is. B, backpack. Alright, so we'll drag this down. Maybe take out that post thing. And let's get out of this menu and campfire. All right, for some reason, I don't know why. I just assumed the campfire was going to work without any. Uh, I'm too hungry to work. Okay, so I guess I got to find some food. Reap. I'm too hungry to work for anything. So I guess I've got to find some real easy to eat food somewhere. I'm pretty sure this is not a good thing. It says forage for food. You run completely out of calories, which is going to make it hard to keep working. Fortunately, uh, collect wild huckleberries, corn, beets, and tomatoes. So those are the things that are probably going to keep us alive here. Um, I'm assuming I can do it without actually harvesting it with a scythe. And I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure the corn sticks out pretty easily. So, oh, there it is. So this is your nutrition. Oh my gosh, there's actually nutrition in this game, which is wild to think about. So you actually have to have a balanced diet. I'm guessing. I mean, if you don't have a balanced diet, you might die. So we can eat all this and you can just see nutrition down here showing us having a lot of carbs. Wow. 
that's some serious detail in a game. But I think our energy's back up a little bit now. Um, what is this circle? Oh, my house value. Turns out my house is worth absolutely nothing right now, which doesn't come as a surprise, considering I just built it and I'm not really an architect. So we'll get that taken care of in the future. But we got to chop this down because I need some wood in there to get that fire built. And you know right when I get that fire built, it's going to turn to daytime and it's going to be completely worthless. But we'll be ready for the next night. Now watch this. If there are any plants in the path that this tree just fell, those plants will die. Which I think is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like the fact that there's a living, wild, real life, like ecosystem in this game. That's something I've never seen before in a game. And I played a lot of games. So that is like really taking a taking a spot for me in uh in game. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's just amazing. So that's really cool. Now while I'm cutting this tree, I'm realizing I'm getting some stuff called wood pulp, and I feel like that'd be a really good fire starter, but I have no idea if that's actually the case. Alright. So I put logs, actually. Let's just right click. Put logs. Click on it, E to open it, and then is there just a way to just turn it on? Can I just like say turn on and go? Just get on, buddy. You're fueled, you're ready, you're feeling good, but you're not you're not going yet. Alright, so what I'm seeing here is a campfire that may work, but it's unknown because it's not on my property. I've noticed that. But the thing is about the campfire is that I don't know if it'll actually work if we don't have something being crafted. And I'm gonna also move this over. This is like how you claim land. So I believe now that I've done that. Instead of saying unknown, unowned, put deeds. I don't know what that means either. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this is even cooler. So this game's multiplayer. You can play online with multiple people, and then you can charge other players to use your stuff. So if I want someone to use this, I can literally charge them a fee per item or per minute, and then get stuff out of it, and then take a currency report based on how much stuff people give me. My nerd signals right now are exploding in my brain. I don't know if you can tell. Holy crap. I'm getting real excited about this one right now. Holy crap. Okay, so I really need to get that working. Uh, this is an episode on me trying to get a fire to work. That's really boring. Okay, um, so what is this giving us? Oh, our log project's done. Okay, it's letting me chop this. It's definitely wasting a crap ton of energy down there. You can see in the corner, each time you swing, it takes a different amount. So if I'm actually doing damage, it takes my energy. So that's something to consider. And now that we're back here, should be able to... Let's see. How do I collect things? Oh, there we go. Go to collect right there. So now I have 10 of these, and then that should be enough to start building something, right? Right, because you need the hammer to build. Okay, so we'll place some stuff here and then turn this into an actual base. We're going for a big base, too. And it, it, maybe maybe that's not a good idea. Okay, I'd definitely place that on top of me, so that's not a good move. All right, so I think if I cut down a couple more trees, I'll be able to build a base, but I'm realizing that I'm literally deforesting this place, and that's actually probably going to give me some bad side effects, because if I deforest the place, there's probably going to be less oxygen, and I'm probably going to... I do just yield timber. I'm probably going to get to a point where these trees are required in order to... Um, sorry, I didn't mean to pause it there. Required in order to clean some of the, the pollutants I'm creating, so that's kind of a bad thing. I really can't see what I'm doing right now. It's so freaking dark. That one's gone. All right. So, I see, you're wasting wood. It's not good. That's not good at all. All right, so this, this is the start of our wood cabin. It's pretty pathetic when you think about it, but it gets the job done. And I still see more of this stuff here. Again, I have no idea what this stuff is for. Wood pulp, but I'm guessing it's for some type of crafting or fuel or something along those lines. So I'm going to collect all of it that I can into the same line along with that. I feel like if I waste any resources, I'm probably going to lose really bad in this game. So we're going to collect every single bit of this wood pulp, and there's quite a bit of it, actually. All right, so while our workbench is crafting some new stuff right now, I haven't shown you guys how the, the shoveling system works, which is is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in any game ever. So in most games, when you dig things, you dig it, and then you pick it up, and it just goes in your inventory. On this game, it actually go. Oh, let's actually get a scoop of it. It actually sits in your shovel until you go place it somewhere else. So I actually have to walk away, replace it, and then come back. So if I want to clear this out and like make a nice big flat area for myself, I'm going to have to dig all this up and then move it to a new area, like a new location completely. It's... It's it's so cool. It's so cool. I am unbelievable. I, I'm just amazed at this stuff. It sounds like our workbench is done now, too. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that bad boy. And I believe what this is for us is basically a nice big stockpile to hold all of our items in. So we'll just assume that's our main base right there. We'll place this guy right here. Good. I'm glad everything disappeared underneath of it. And let's go ahead and pick up some wood here. You know, gotta gotta keep the place nice and clean and stuff. You don't want your you don't want your first base looking bad. Oh, uh, that's that very well may the maybe the wrong. Oh, that's the right tool. Stockpile storage, so I, oh, I guess I click E on it, and then can I just drag things in my inventory up here? There it is, so you just drag it straight from your inventory in, and it actually stacks there, and it actually looks pretty sweet. Like, the, the small details, guys, let me tell you something. If you're trying to be successful in something, it's the small details that lead you to success. If you're watching a YouTube video that you think is a great video, 
the reason that video you probably like it is because that creator does something that's different but he does it very well like think of all the great creators casey neistat and you know great athletes stuff like that they do something small but they do it very very well and so in this game these guys are doing something small but they're doing it in a way that i've never like just to perfection these guys are perfecting it inventory only accepts carried items so i guess i'm not allowed to put these things in there i have no idea what these wood pulp things are for they could be worthless for all i know but now I can go around, pick up all this junk that I have, all this wood laying on the ground, store in a pretty sick looking area. And it, it's just like when you do things small, when you do things small and you do them right and you do them above what most people would do, like you take it to that next level, you make it so there's a fully functioning ecosystem. You make it so your choices will actually lead to pollution and change your world and your environment. And you have a recipe for one of the greatest games ever, in my opinion. That can ever be made i mean th this is the most simple act ever picking up wood it's the most grindy thing every single game has it and yet i'm enjoying this like i've never enjoyed it before in my life and i think that this just goes to show you how much small different things can help you so if you guys are watching right now what kind of small things can you do in your life that can make a big difference like this like what is something you can do that's really maybe not a lot of people will notice at first but can make a big difference something that i try to think about in my videos all the time and uh like seeing it in this game just reinforces that it's, it's just amazing can only hold three logs and our hunger is also coming back a little bit so i guess uh i guess i really don't want to be stockpiling all this wood i probably want to finish crafting a base because i think a base is going to help us a lot uh but at the same time i kind of am really enjoying just making a nice satisfying beautiful looking pile I just wish it went a little bit taller, you know. I feel like I feel like our dude could stack more than what we have here. Oh, and you can walk on it. Oh my goodness, what a lame thing to be excited about. All right, I'm gonna collect a little bit of food now because I need a little bit of tomatoes in my body. I'm gonna eat those real quick. It looks like we're getting really hungry, and maybe we'll go explore just a little bit. And I know there's also a level up system. Um, I believe oh, what was a button? It told me earlier, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I don't think I've shown you guys this yet. So this is the world map. So I don't know if every world's random or not, but. This is the entire world. You can explore it all, of course, and try to save it from wrecking. Then you can put on different layers. So if I want to see the air pollution, I click that and I can see it. Show it in the world. You actually see the air pollution in the world. I can go to beans and I see that in front of us, there's a nice big bean area. Show it in the world. It shows it as purple in here. So you can like really, really find exactly what you're looking for from every single item in this entire world. So if I want to see... Uh, freaking wolf I click on wolf and then it shows us a wolf heat map showed in world boom You now have a heat map of wolves and where you can find them incredible detail. It's unbelievable. Like I said um, So we're gonna go explore a little bit now. I've you know, I've worked on the base a little bit Maybe uh, not done a whole lot of exploring and I'm not really sure what to expect It's not ripe enough to pick okay so I guess I'll try to pick up as many plants as I can because I want to be a farmer in this game and try to get some like legit farms going right now. Um, but let's climb up here a little bit. I don't know if it's dangerous either, but I feel like I've not seen anything that looked like it could kill me. If I'm picking up, oh, I got a lot of blueberries. Oh, 49. You boys got food for days. Let's max that thing out. All right. We now don't have to worry about food ever because we've got the biggest blueberry farm on the entire planet here, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty crazy. There's a deer. There's a wolf. There's a couple wolves. Do you attack me, little wolfies? I'm getting the impression they don't, as that one seemingly ran away very scared of us as we came up here. Seems like a desert over there, and some kind of mineral over here, some kind of resource? I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but that looks like something I need to mine. Definitely need to mine this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. One thing I'm realizing is that I really can't carry that much. I can only carry what I can carry. So, you can only carry one thing at a time, unless... Yes, yeah, so you can only carry it. So I've got to figure out a way to actually carry more than like one thing. Those are sweet plants. I'm guessing there's some kind of backpack or something I can make. But if I have to run out here and bring back one thing at a time, that's crazy. But guys, um, this is online. This game is online. I'm playing on a single player world right now just to test it out. But I could see this as possibly one of the coolest games ever in an online environment. Now, I don't know if I'm missing something or if I'm just like super into this. But... Definitely, if you're a patron and you have this game, get in touch with me, and I would love to play some with you because this, to me, it looks like one of the greatest games of all time. Now, I'm not sure what this is, and I really have no idea why I put my wood in there, and what I really need to do is put it in here and create some of this hewn log. So we'll go ahead and make 10 of these. That should be all of it. It's going to take a bit of time, and then I think I might be able to just kind of do it again and make like 10 more, and maybe that'll be enough to finish our base, or at least come close to it. Um, I do want to, excuse me, save a little bit of that wood because you never know if you need to craft something later. Stock, oh, there's a torch. There's the torch. Arrow, bow, deed, 
dirt ramp. There's so much crafting here. All right, so I have 10 skill points available. I, there's a little skill point button. I missed that earlier. Kind of embarrassing, to be honest with you. But um, we can now see what things we can level up. So I wanted to be a farmer. I have digging and gathering. So I'm better at gathering than most people. But there's all these different specialties you can get into. So that's a good farmer. I feel like we'll put five points into wetland wanderer. Helps us in harvest. I'm not even a wetland. I don't need that. Forest forager. That's me. So increase. It's just going to increase my harvest yield. So it's going to let me get more stuff from the forest. So um, maybe that's why we got so many berries. Which seems like a really valuable thing when you first start out and don't have a good food source. The music in this game fits the beautiful design so well too. I'm just, I'm fanboying so hard over this. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I did get it free. Like I'm not being paid for this game. But through a website called Keymailer, you can just get games as a YouTuber. So that's kind of how I got this game. Um, pretty sure I have to disclose that at some point, uh, although that's really not impacting my decision to say this game's incredible in any way. <laughs> I wasn't paid for this video or anything. Uh, it is illegal, for those of you who don't know. It is illegal to make a video about a game, and you're paid and you don't mention it. So I've had some people ask me about that in the past. That's actually against the, uh, against the law. So definitely, if you're a YouTuber and you get a game for free or you're paid to do it, you always got to disclose it. So it's like FCC violation. Pretty big deal. So uh, hmm. apparently I didn't pick anything up in that. Kind of went there, kind of just looked at it and broke it, and then took none back. So that's really not what I was not what I was going for there. Oh, we can carry eight. I think eight is the max I can carry. So I guess I should start being a little more optimal with how much I'm bringing back each time. And what I wish I could do. Oh, okay. You can link the stockpile. Can I store in it? I can directly store in the stockpile from here, and then directly drag out of the stockpile from there. So that's another super small thing that makes a massive difference. Quality of life improvement. This game is incredible. It was the greatest freaking game I've ever played in my life. Look at this. The rock actually goes into the ground a little bit. That's kind of cool. All right, looks like I was wrong. I thought you could carry 8 max, but as I continue to break things, it looks like I can carry 20 max. So I thought 4, then 8, then 20. So it's, just, it's a learning experience. You know, you boys figuring some stuff out right now. And I guess also when this finishes crafting, it looks like it drops it off immediately inside the stockpile. So it almost is automating that whole entire system. All right, now something I was just thinking of is that there's definitely a meteor here that's coming to destroy us. I, I'm yet to see that meteor. I don't know where it is on the map, and I don't know if I can see it if I do worldview either. I'm not sure what side of the planet it's on, but what I do know is that, well, I guess what I don't know is that there may be some kind of time limit that says, uh, you know, you're going to die and lose everything fairly soon, which would be incredibly unfortunate to have to go through. Actually, let's go back. We got all that wood over there. We'd be wasting our time if we didn't use that special wood we just made to build something incredible. So let's bring all that down here. And... It looks like what we're going to do here is just continue to build these little walls. I feel like that's that's the move. Place that all the way around. This is going to be a real, real tiny base. So, you know, it's your starter base. Nothing crazy. That's going to be our door. Bring it up like that. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Not not the most spacious apartment, I would say. Maybe, you're, maybe a college apartment or something similar to what I'm living in currently. I'm going to close it. We, I kind of like the window, but it said we want to enclose it all the way. All right, so the reason I couldn't make some things is because I didn't have my level high enough here under hewing, and I just realized these cost zero points. So some of these are completely free to learn. So campfire unlocks campfire cooking. Chef unlocks some campfire stuff. So I guess I can go through, and at least on some of the most basic ones, I can learn at least level one. So that's actually pretty big. Mining, mortaring, um, unlocks new, just a lot of new stuff. So that's actually kind of lame that I forgot about it earlier or didn't even know that was a thing. But that means now I should be able to... I, can, I still can't. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. All right, so this is my first time actually testing a torch. It looks like we're getting dark again here. And I want to go around, try to collect as much food as I can, and then see if I can make some kind of lame recipe over there. I'm a pretty lame chef in real life, so I figure I'd be a pretty lame chef in this game too. So hopefully those two combos are pretty killer. Speaking of actually, serious question for you guys. So I'm a bad chef. You guys know I'm a bad chef. I had a video where I literally put frosting on a hamburger. I feel like, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory on how good of a cook I am. So those of you who are actually good cooks, even if you're young, I don't even care. Like, what is, like, a really good recipe I can make that's, like, super impressive? Like, something super simple, super easy. Like, I whip it up, and people are like, this dude knows how to cook, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's what I'm looking for. So someone out there with, like, some crazy, mega, massive, really good, really easy, but, like, lesser-known recipe, definitely, you know, get in touch with me because we got we to gotta make sure I know how to cook that in the future. Okay, so I picked up random ingredients. Basically, I got corn and tomatoes. So if this was real life, I'd probably find a way to make something out of that. But it looks like in this game, what do we have here? Charred pitch. I can make a lot of these. Go ahead and do that. I can't order it. Oh, because I need mortar production production one. I can't do that because I need campfire cooking one. Skill points are down here. It's got to be under chef. 
I would think. Put one point into that. I don't know if that... Or that definitely didn't give me what I was looking for, but I can craft campfire beans. That's going to take 18 minutes to make that many campfire beans, but it's going to be real good. <laughs> and we got finally got a campfire working, which is a big play for us right now. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to store as much as I can in here now. I don't know if I can put everything in here. Oh, that's that's the campfire supply. Put a little more, a little more wood in there. And then the thing is, I've got all this stuff in here. I really don't know. Crafted it. Farmer's table. Fern spore. So I'm not sure. What do I do with the spores? And why do I have freaking 300 tomatoes? And I don't really know what to do with them all, you know? Like, can I store tomatoes in here? Is there a tomato storage thing I can use? Inventory only accepts items in the inventory. So there's really no item that I can use for that, which is very disheartening. And I was making a mason table. I need 11 more stone. I think I wasted all my stone on building something really dumb, probably. So let's go ahead and collect a little bit more over here. All right, it turns out when I leveled up a bunch of times, you guys remember when I did that? I unlocked a bunch of new items. So now I have a bow. I have 20 arrows, and I've got all kinds of random crap in here. But what I also have is this, which is, I have no idea. Neither do you. So we're going to go ahead and place it over here. It's some kind of new crafting mechanism. And it lets us craft new new things. A mill, mortar, stone, bakery, oven, kiln. Of course, I can't make most of it, but I can make some of it, which is pretty awesome. Now, it says I need better levels in most of this stuff, which obviously I don't have right now. So the one thing I can't figure out, maybe you guys can help me, is that I want to build a base, right? I want to get my roof on here. So when I go here to shift to get my new stuff, it says I need hewn log construction four, which I'm assuming... Wait a minute. Did it just take me there? Oh, so it's here under wood construction. To research wood construction skill book at a research table. So I need to get a research table. So I wonder if it can show me if I click on that. Must be contained within a room, 25 meter cube volume, crafted at the workbench. So I guess I can go to the workbench and then craft that. I didn't realize that was a thing. That's that's why I was a little bit confused there. So there should be. All right, I found it. So before I get the research table, I need to get a skill point to make basic crafting one. That unlocks the research table. Then I can make the research table. Then I can unlock things to actually make the other pieces I need for my base. It's all coming together now, boys. It's all coming together now. I feel like while we're here, we might as well get a little bit more wood action in here. You know, just like a nice little balcony or a nice little deck or something. All right, guys. So we reached the point where we can finally build a research table. It's going to cost us 30 plant fibers, 40 stone, and 30 wood. So it's really expensive. And then we can start researching all kinds of new stuff. If you look at our skill points, we can get engineering, smithing, tailoring, um, and then all these other extra things in here. Like all this. But just all, there's so much. There's so much in this game, guys. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm liking what I see here. And if you guys like it, please be sure to gently tap that like button with your tongue today. I want you to lick your phone screen. Uh, and uh, don't ask me why. Just do it. Comply with me. All right. Do what I say. And uh, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. I'm going to continue to collect wood, I think, real quick, just to get a nice little quick stockpile. But for all intents and purposes, this video is concluded at this point. I encourage you to go check out my other videos, guys. Check them out. I have some really good stuff on there. And if you like this, you will most certainly find my other vi videos uh, at least mildly acceptable, I would think. Uh, although, you know, of course, this is my best video ever, so I don't know if those will be. But other than that, I feel like what we're going to do here is collect some wood. Um, probably just ramble on about nothing. There's really no reason for you to be watching anymore at this point, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. And I've got nothing substantial to add on to this video at this point. So I encourage you to click away. Um, I really don't think you should be watching uh, really probably the next minute or two, even three or four minutes, depending on how many trees I decide to cut down. Um, I, like I, if I think about, like I'm trying to think like, you know, is there a good reason why people would watch this? And ultimately, I just have no reason at all whatsoever. So I encourage you, um, click another video, go do your homework, uh, watch paint dry. There are multiple options you could do that probably be more entertaining than what you're witnessing right now. And... Uh, you know, it's sad, really. It is it's a sad thing, but I feel like, you know, when you're in that situation, you're real bored. You're like, my favorite YouTuber is about to end this video, and you, you just, you can't handle it. And so, you know, I'd, I'd do the same thing if I were you. But at the same time, you got to take care of yourself. You got to think, what am I doing with my life right now? Why am I watching this dude? He's literally collecting materials. It's incredibly boring. He's, he's not even talking about anything. And uh, I guess with that, I'm going to stop talking, continue to get stone and uh, really not speak anymore. So guys, spread the love. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.